Mega Man X7 is over. Finally fucking over. I could legitimately cry right now. I am so happy to have that complete piece of shit behind me. Yeah, but we're not really done with these games yet, right? I mean, we've got to be getting close. Ten more. Ten more games. Ten more games. Uh, Okay, then what do we do now? I want to get as far away as I possibly can from this piece of shit game. Like, a hundred years away. So let's move a century forward in the timeline from X7. Oh, nice. 22XX. So we're playing Mega Man Zero 3 now? Nope. But that's when those games take place. Sure is. But no, we're still talking about the X series. Okay, so this must be about the Elf Wars that take place right before Mega Man Zero then, right? No mention of them at all. Has nothing to do with Mega Man Zero whatsoever. But we've already seen an ending from an earlier game where Zero puts himself in stasis for 102 years. This does not make any sense. Nope. Oh, hey, but the art style has shifted almost unnoticeably so it would look vaguely more like the visual style of the Zero series. Even classic Mega Man and Cutman got upgrades, even though they never appear in the game. So there's that. This is really fucked up. Yes. Yes, it is. So it is, in fact, the year 22XX. A meteor crashes down in the Pacific Ocean, leading Reploids to send troops to set up Giga City, a place where the minerals can be mined and smelted. These minerals would come to be known as Force Metal. But before long, the mine is taken over by a band of mavericks led by a rogue reploid named Si- Epsilon. Huh. Yeah, okay. Anyway, the mavericks banish all humans from the island and demand sovereignty and independence from human civilization. A few maverick hunters are sent to investigate the situation, with the organization sending X-Zero and Shadow to deal with the fallout. They're sent to Lagrano Ruins to take care of the threat, but a sudden ambush and betrayal throws the mission into chaos, leaving X to assemble a new party to take on Epsilon. Over the course of the game, your party can expand to have not just X-Zero and Axel, but a number of new faces as well, each with their own special abilities in battle. Hey, wait a minute. This doesn't sound like a platform shooter at all. This sounds more like... An RPG. A turn-based RPG. John? I don't think he's coming back. So, yeah, this game is an RPG. The only turn-based RPG in the franchise. Probably seems like a bit of a gamble, right? I mean, even Keiji Inafune wanted nothing to do with turning the X-Series into an RPG and stayed off the project. On the one hand, the group responsible for this game got their start porting Resident Evil 2 to the N64 and putting Mega Man Extreme and Extreme 2 on the Game Boy Color. On the other hand, they were also responsible for Mega Man X5 and X6 and X7. It was allegedly even made by the exact same team that put out X7 earlier that year in Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter 2, but I I gotta be honest, I don't know anything about that entire franchise. The only other game made by Capcom Production Studio 3 was the Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie's Revenge. Kind of a weird note to go out on. I hope this game didn't have to do with their departure. Oh, I saw that too. Oh, 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 okay. It's a carburetor. Now we got a mushroom hill zone. Is this the same city from X7? What the fuck am I even looking at? The screen, John. Oh, okay. Well, that did clear that up for me. Thank you. Here are your nine stages. Yeah, are we going to. This is the inside of Mega Man's head? It's the inside of the Enterprise. Oh, it's. Oh, oh, it's zero and X, but they time. look weird. Yeah, this hey, is Gojer. this is a hundred years in the future. And I For guess real? Yeah, this takes place. But then is X eight back like right after X seven? Yep. <laughs> cool. Good work, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, I feel like this further fucks up Inafune's plans for Mega Man Zero, and it's at like at this point, Inafune. Oh, we, set it, we set this game about three years before Mega Man Zero. <laughs> like, well, guys. Yeah. I still don't. Oh, your ass sucks so bad. Right. Oh Inafune must have hated those guys. The uh, oh Z S X X. Oh yeah. Look at all this. This is how babies are it's made. Like Christmas. Or robot oh, babies. we're just there. You go. Okay. What a great intro. That was very informative. Yeah. I saw oh, some we're still. Shapes. Oh, oh, oh. Why, why was right. that a thing? Looks kind of cool. Oh. Right. Uh, oh, 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 there's Axel you're here. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna oh. have to deal with you. Oh. Oh. Here's Hat Guy. Hat guy. And Birdman. Bird. <laughs> and <Green>. Gutsman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's and Prayer Joy. Girl and. Fantasy Funky. Star Online girl. Yep. And, and another one. And I'm running a duck. out of things to say. Come <laughs> on, guys. Oh, 
It's good that we're seeing him being built very slowly. Oh, also built on like the internet. It looks almost Battle network the way they're built. A little bit, oh, yeah. That uh, bird girl looks like the one from Zero. So the character designs were meant to look a little closer to the Mega Man Zero games because they take place around that time, too. Okay, I mean, that's if they did that on purpose, that's cool. Yeah. I'm not convinced God, they the did. world of Mega Man X just looks like it sucks. Yeah. Like, everything is, like, it totally horrible sucks. looking and, like... It's like post, post, post nope. apocalyptic all right. or something. Mega Man X command mission. Do it. Do you want to start stuff? Uh, sure. Yeah, all right. Try it. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm only going to be here for a little bit. New game. I'm ready. Here we okay. go. Access. Access. So we're playing the GameCube version, which is a little different than the PlayStation version. So on the good side, the, the loading the loading screens are faster. Okay. On the bad side, there are more... There's an Epsilon. Cool. Yep. There are more enemy encounters. On the good side, you get more... It's 100 years later, but all the same people are here. Yep. Also that guy. Fuck you. You are our final hope. Just like you were the last you seven times. Mission, right? Nine times, depending on how you can. Whoa, damn. Maybe we can just fucking murder you, Cygnus. I've never that's trusted not you anyway. That's a, that's a different dude. Oh. oh, you're right. He's got weird back things. Yeah. We're getting an energy reading from a certain area. We're going to call him Discount Cygnus from <laughs> now on, just to be safe. CVS Cygnus. Survey the ruins first. Well, we're here. Uh, let's see. Uh... Do you make less or more than one hundred thousand dollars a year? Are you yes. eighteen to twenty five? Twenty six to thirty five? Thirty oh we didn't finish fucking surveying him. What? Just Should survey the ruins. Yeah. Okay. Decent the radio's useless. A hundred years goes by and his voice gets a little better. Only the three of us to infiltrate this huge island. You know, I mean, we're good. despite the fact they're clearly not speaking English, the mouth uh, the mouths don't look that distracting. Yeah. It's kind of refreshing compared to Sonic Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy that part of Sonic Adventure. That doesn't bother me. It's part of the fun. Like, it's a talking hedgehog. Like, it doesn't need to be realistic for me. Oh, Shadow. There we go. Shadow. Wow, this is a Sonic game. How about that guitar? Did you see that E105 Epsilon. No, E106 Epsilon? No, it's E106 Ada. Did you see that text I sent to the group? Which one? That had the Shadow, the hedgehog guitar. For the no. 25th anniversary of Shadow the Hedgehog. I did not see that. It's in one of the big group okay? texts. Interesting. Use it's, uh, I'll, I'll re-forward it to you for this video, but uh, nice. it looks pretty awesome. It's like, That's pretty rad. you get like a, a middle-of-the-road one for 700 or like the full one for 1300 nice. bucks. So uh, if you have an extra 1300 bucks, buy me that Finders guitar. Keepers for any goodies? Jesus Christ. I think it's the 15th anniversary of Shadow, isn't it? Nope. Well, certainly not the 25th. Uh, that would have been 1992. Uh, yeah, you're right. Shadow, Maybe it must be the fifteenth. Shadow was know. in two thousand or two thousand one, and then again later on. I don't want Shadow. I think Shadow the Hedgehog. Maybe it's was for the Sonic game? anniversary, but it's just they Maybe, use Shadow because yeah. it's cool. Oh, that makes know. more sense because he's more metal. All right. Ooh, Whoa, you got this a looks little, awesome. You got a little red exhaust scarf. Oh, how's it feel? Cool. It doesn't feel bad. Oh, red. Oh no. Yeah, it is an RPG. <laughs> Okay, all I did was hit the A button. Reasonably sure the game Y or X is the sub we weapon. Really just sure, yeah, the game is going to sort of explain stuff too. So, micro missile. You can see all the stuff on the top. So, you're out. You use both of them. And they so, used, oh, so you can use. And they use 10% weapon energy. Okay. All right, this doesn't seem bad. Yeah. But the frustrating part is that the overworld. Controls a lot better than X7. Right. So I was going to ask. It was like, to, I want it to be like I was going to ask. like, So it looks like it feels a little smoother than X7 right off the bat. Oh, and L button. Oh, my God. L button puts the camera behind you like a real game. <laughs> Fuck you. Right. So oh, my if God. They could just, oh, whatever. It's kind of amazing that this came out so fucking fast after X7, and the RPG has better platform-style controls. Yeah. I wonder if I can jump in the overworld. I don't think you can. I think they try to keep it non... They say that every time, huh? Yeah, I don't remember how you heal weapon energy, so just be a little careful about it, but... Oh, I guess you get some every turn. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so... And you said this was made by the people who made Breath of Fire? Like, Breath the of Fire, same team? Breath of Fire, um, Dragon Quarter. Which, I know nothing about Breath of Fire, so I, I don't know. I'm told it's, like, an okay game. Are you an enemy or a thing? I think it's a thing. Oh, you dash through yeah. it and you Build get lay. So this is red, so I probably can't go in. Yeah. Well, it says on the map it's got a little lock, too. Oh, yeah. So we got two doors you can go into. 
Cutscene. Oh, hey. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that was a I don't coincidence. Think that's, I don't or... think it's related. Oh, oh it's, it's that bat. thing. Observe. Oh, just going to sit there on its turn. That's hilarious. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Not going to do much else. I'm so good at this game. You are fucking killing it. I've learned how to hit three you buttons level in up? one turn. This is it? Yeah. yeah. Level up. God, I'm so aroused. This game is heal sweet. from your level up? Probably. Securing area 1F West? Yeah. That's sure. the door that we were just talking about. Security disabled. Cool. Wow. Zero. X, did you just operate something? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like everybody's there. So some lock is disabled. So that's how it works. Yeah, it's a lock, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't understand what a switch does. Okay, so... The east block can only be controlled by us here at West okay, Block. Okay, then go control the door in, in West Block to control the terminals for each other. Okay. Teamwork is vital. Too bad it's a one-player game. Yeah. End of game. Okay. Let's I don't like random encounters, though. I know. <laughs> Nobody does. The good news is they do get... I'm trying to remember if the game has... So one thing I really appreciate in RPGs is that uh, is the ones that let you, like, if you're significantly stronger than enemies, it either won't do battles or you just win the battles automatically. Oh, this does that? I forget if it does. I don't oh. remember off the top of my head <laughs> if it does. Here's the thing that is in other games. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I gotcha. Oh, sorry At I'm least so stiffly quicker, with the mic, though. guys. Dun, 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 dun. I'd say hold off on the micro missiles a little bit. Cause don't you recharge a little bit after every battle, though? You recharge every, a little every turn in battle. Okay. But you're using more than you recharge. And did I uh, save? Oh, oh yeah. Neato. Sure. Cool. I guess we haven't actually. Okay. Yes. Cool. Ta -da. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Sweet. This menu is seamless. Yeah. Makes sense. I didn't choke on the fucking menu. Well, I mean, you've had a lot of practice not to choke on things. So. Hey, look. The door's open now. Looking to go. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's Ooh. raining. Wow, this is cool. It's like how it is outside right now in Boston. A little bit, yeah. Some nice atmosphere. This looks awesome. I don't know where his red cape thing he came from, but it's cool. Yeah. Somewhere in the last hundred so years, how do like, I see oh, my oh, weapon energy? Was that that's W oh, E on the the ten? Fifty. See down below, it says fifty percent. Oh, okay. Your your things use up ten. Got it. I don't want to use the subway. Was that the enemy's attack? Just telling you, hey, you should use yeah, this right. sub weapon. There you go. So you're up to 75%. So like, oh, oh, okay, end of this okay. battle, you have 100. Because like, I assume bad. at the end of this, there'll be some kind of big battle. So it looks like you revive, I guess, 25% every turn. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. But I don't know if you res if you get any after uh, after battles. So you might not get the boost if yeah, that move ends the battle. That's cool. All right. Let's give this a shot. Go. Stay away from that. X, do you read me? Go to the middle floor. I have a feeling you'll find something <laughs> there. Oh, thanks, Nostradamus. Uh, what do I get? Tank, Tank energy, energy 25. Is that just an insta-heal, I guess? New model reploid development. So the new model reploids are the ones like Axel. Ultramobile, oh, Ultramobile Bobcat reploid, Wild Django. Okay. Okay. Dr. Psyche. Are these the bosses? I believe so, yes. Silver Horde. Mock Gentra. <laughs> What are these things? How did it go? So there was there one also? This oh, so this was actually a thing you were supposed to do. Zero bitched. There are four pods here. They've all finished production. The reploids have already left the pods. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I knew it. There are four pods on my side, too. Of course, all the customization was finished. This was my first detail with you, and I'm not optimistic <laughs> about the future. Wow, way to be a dick. <laughs> Execute him. Yeah. Uh, I'm not feeling so good about this job. You guys sort of suck a little bit. I need to unlock them. I had locked the doors on your side. Now we should both be able to proceed. All right. Cool, I guess. Cool. Oh, something to something to also mention. I'm pr I'm reasonably sure that this game, so the game definitely gives you a linear set of levels. I forget if you can go back to ones that uh, that you've beaten in the past. Okay. So we should probably try to be as thorough as we can while we're while we're in them, just in case. Oh, At least until shit. we know for sure. All right. So I don't know if micro missiles attack one dude or multiple dudes. Oh wait, it put me back down to fifty. Oh, Do you weird. Just start with 50? I guess so. All right. Never mind then. My bad. Bat boom. Uh oh. Use the action trigger. The fuck is that? R, I guess. 
Can you use R to defend? I, or is R what you use as an attack thing? All right, oh, shit. Go. Now your turn. Try it out. Let's see what it does. Charge shot. Oh, tap A. Now. Oh, Oops. nice. Oh, I get it. You did like nothing, but that's okay. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the action trigger is different for all of the characters that you yeah, have. Yeah, okay. And they'll all do, like, wacky shit. Cool, cool, So cool, his cool. is tap A like crazy, and you'll do a lot of damage to dudes. Cool. Can you try it again? Or are you just going to do this? Uh. And you That's can just well. do it as many times as you want? Yep. Why wouldn't you do it? Wait, what the hell? Maybe you that was hold worse. A? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it must be you hold it. I don't know why it says press. That's frustrating. Oh, well, if it was like Mega Man, if it's like a charge shot, you would hold it. I guess that makes sense. They really shouldn't They're say press though instead of hold. Wrecking me here. Kaboom. How do I select a different one? It's a different what? Oh, I don't know if you can. Uh, well, shit. The Eleanor. Uh, nope. So is Z the one that set that thing off, or is it the C buttons, or I don't know? No, I guess I can't. Anyway. Um. Charge shot. Yeah. There it is. Interesting. There you go. Well, do, do, is there any reason that you can see that it stopped at 74 or maybe I didn't hit it soon enough oh maybe I don't know uh, alright yeah level up that heals <sighs> you too which is nice which is real nice hey hmm Got oh Zenny where's check the security area oh breach detected oh that's the breach so detected. they know about us yep alright next room this okay, is pretty cool, cool actually yeah alright good I'm glad that, I'm glad you're at least liking the start I mean of like it, so Again, it's frustrating because I I almost want to control it like this because it already controls so much better than uh, X7. Yeah. I, so far the but the battles are good too for RPG style battles. I'm just more in the mood for something like this. Nice. What's this? Scarface. S Scarface. Well, it's good to see they haven't learned anything about naming their reploids <laughs> well. Is it just him or Epsilon? Epsilon. Warning. Warning. Error occurred during production. Replay. Ah. Oh, so he's like off balance. That's interesting. Mm. Two high performance reploids. Two are produced here as well. One of them was Epsilon. Are you certain? Sure. Well, I can read, so yeah. yeah. Four high performance units and eight combat units. That's quite a squadron. No wonder those mm. who arrived first never made it back. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, Why would they send anyone but X yeah, Zero right. to a mission like this? So there's something place. upstairs. Also, I see that he's finally gotten over his, I don't want to fight. I was just Mer. thinking that too earlier. Uh, is this where I was? No, nope, this is I the new floor. In? You can see on the map areas that you've been to and not been to. So that room you just opened, so that's why it appeared on the map. Okay. But yes, this is a new floor. Ooh, sideways battle. Yeah, right? Fight! Is there any reason? Oh, it's not available to me yet. Weird. I uh, wonder why. So then... Maybe you can't do it when your health is above a certain point. Oh, maybe it's like a limit break. Okay. Well, it's definitely like a limit break. I'm just not sure what, what breaks it. Yeah. Oh, and now I can choose, too. That's weird. Oh. Oh, maybe you're just... You're doing left and right. I don't know. Maybe... maybe Either one works. That's yeah. so weird. That's weird. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Go for it. I do like oh, that you can see the... Once you've started, you can't switch oh, targets. Oh, that, ma that makes sense. So it's good that you can see, like, it's nice that from the very start you you get a uh, a uh, health bar for the enemies. Yeah, that time I waited a lot longer. Interesting. It so it only 16. gives you 100 units of time, whatever those are. Oh, it uses up all your weapon energy, too. Oh, shit. Okay. Jeez. Fuck. So we've got a bit of a, uh, a Final Fantasy X scenario with the turn-based stuff enough. where your attacks do seem to change Yeah. Uh, how long you have to wait for your next attack. Oh, man. All right. This is cool. This is cool. Nice. I'm excited to see what happens when I hit the top floor next time. Yeah, man.